Hey guys, it's Jared Cook. I'm here at the Perry Company. We manufacture and design the Fortress product line and today we're going to install the modular upgrade uh, to the lower half doors that have been so popular. And so if you stick with us, we're going to show you the tips and tricks, how to get this jo job done. A uh, couple of things to talk about up front and early. Uh, number one, first we want to start with this vent window. We're going to show you how to assemble that here in just a moment. Uh, the other thing that we need to talk about is how uh, the powder coat over time might not match 100%, okay? So uh, you could see some color variation here, and that just kind of is what it is. Uh, let us know, call us if, if you have any issues, but I do wanna I do want to put that out there up front. So we're going to get into the vent window here shortly. And then also we have an upgraded striker bracket that we need to show you as well. All right, guys. So if you had our half doors uh, before, you know that this is our, our current striker. Uh, basically, what we want to do is we want to take uh, that striker out. We are going to replace it. Um, we're also going to take this top bolt and this bottom bolt out. You can probably tell I already have them a little loose. Uh, we're going to pull those out for this install. And now we're just going to simply place this plate. Let's see if I can do this from inside the cab. Now on this, you do have some adjustment up and down. Um, that's something that when you're really um, get, trying to get the, the, the best fit possible, the best function uh, that you can adjust. And we're gonna, we're gonna tighten those up. Don't over tighten them, um, but we do want those nice and snug. And then, like I said, we can adjust those later on if need be. All right, guys, we're going to get started. And the first things we're going to do is we're going to remove this upper panel. We're going to place our drilling template uh, for the handle, and we're actually going to install the handle. So to get started with that, to remove this upper panel, you're going to have hardware in six locations. Uh, one, two, three, four. You have uh, the fifth one back here and the sixth one up here that marries this top panel to this middle panel. We've already removed that hardware, and so we're simply going to, uh, to take this top panel off. Next, what you're going to want to do is, is you're going to want to go ahead and line up your template. And this template comes, uh, when, you, when you see the sheet of paper, there's a blue line around it that we want you to cut out around that blue line. And then you're going to take that, that line and you are going to match it to the bottom most part of this body line and run it um, uh, right on that body line and then also match it with this front body line as, as well. Uh, once you do that, you're gonna be ready to, uh, to drill your holes. Um, on this unit, we've, we've already uh, marked and drilled our holes, and so we're gonna go ahead and take this template off, show you what it should look like. You have four holes. Um, as we go to install this handle, you are gonna have a, a plunger bolt here that you're gonna install. And then we have three pieces of, of hardware uh, that, that will uh, secure the handle to the door. So let's go ahead and, uh, and get into that. All right, so I've got one of those tightened down. We'll go back in uh, with the proper tools and, uh, and tighten this handle down. All right, guys, what we're going to do now is we're, we're going to remove the hardware that attaches the 
uh, hinge mount to the middle panel of the door. And what we're looking to accomplish here is we're gonna install a steel washer at, at each location. Um, and what that's gonna do is help from the door sagging and moving into positions you, you don't want it to. And uh, uh, so as we get started with that, let's remember only remove one bolt at a time. Uh, you'll remove this hardware, put in a steel washer. Uh, the second location is the only location that you just completely remove the hardware from because we're gonna mount a bracket there here in just a second and you do your third and fourth, we should be in good shape. As we were talking about that, that bracket that's gonna mount here, we're gonna, we're gonna insert the, uh, the hardware that was already in there, but we're also gonna insert this, uh, this bracket. And just so you guys get a, a good look at that bracket, um, we're gonna install that real quick with a steel washer. And then we're gonna rotate that 180 degrees. That way our, our window track is gonna to mount to this. We wanna go ahead and get that installed uh, at this time. All right, guys, we're gonna install this uh, upper half. Normally I'd be standing on the interior of the door. I'm gonna to try to do it from out here just to, to show you how we're gonna go about that. But um, basically what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to lean back and have that bracket, uh, that window track bracket, miss the upper ledge of the middle panel. Um, and then, yeah, let me see if I can get there. We're going to place a bolt in this front hole here. And we're also going to place a bolt at this rear hole. Um, we will put nuts on those here in just a minute. Um, but right now, I really want to get this thing to where, uh, where it's not going to move on us too much and, and just get it, get it set in place. All right, so we're, we're pretty well stable there. I will say that uh, when you go to place the nuts on the two bolts we first installed, uh, first installed um, if you'll take your wrench and drop your flange nut down into your wrench, it makes it much easier to, uh, to hold it as you're, as you're placing that on. Uh, we're gonna come right back and we're gonna show you how to not only get those uh, nuts on, but then also installing your, your front brace as well. All right guys, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna install, uh, as you can see, this one has been previously installed, but we're gonna go ahead and install uh, this bracket. It's going to marry the uh, lower half of the door to the modular upgrade portion uh, and make, make just a nice strong joint. So we're gonna go ahead and lay this in place. Uh, I will tell you that there's, there's three bolts. Um, that we're going to put in and the bottom two are going to be the hex flange bolts and that top is going to be uh, an allen head get these in place real quick after you get your lower uh, two bolts in we're going to go ahead and readjust the clamp and we're gonna reposition it to help us with this top hole. Ensuring that we leave enough of a gap. And let's go. I'm gonna leave just enough to where uh, you can get the Allen head in, but then also get your nut on there. And at this point, it's ready to remove the clamp and you're gonna tighten all of your hardware down and go ahead and tighten this, uh, this hardware that was previously installed. All right guys, so now we're gonna install the uh, rear window track. Again, I'm gonna try to do this from the uh, outside. Uh, and, and so that might make it a little bit cumbersome, but one of the things you're looking at 
uh, on the rear track is you'll notice that you have a rectangular head, whereas the front track has a, a nice curvature to it. Uh, you'll see that here in just a minute when we, uh, when we do the, uh, the front track as well, but let's go ahead and get this installed. Uh, we're gonna be, let's see, there we go, okay. We're gonna be using Allen head uh, hardware with a washer on the exterior here for these top three bolts. And once those are installed, we wanna leave them loose, but we're gonna go ahead and, and install uh, the uh, retainer, this rear retainer uh, at two portions to the bracket that mount that we mounted earlier um, to the hinge mount. Okay. And I'm gonna have to go to the inside real quick guys to see if I can spin. Now that we've got those installed, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to shift this window retainer all the way to the rear. It's got some play both ways. You you want to shift it all the way to the rear, tighten that down, and then we'll be ready to install the polycarbonate uh, that's going to go in place. All right, guys, we're going to talk a little bit about this window. Not going to spend a lot of time. Uh, basically, we have a sash lock at the top, and then we have a uh, custom fortress uh, roller system. And the, to install this, you want to have it in the, uh, in the unlock position, and you just simply want to place the, the trim uh, on this rear uh, track right in between the two stainless steel uh, washers in the roller system. And then you're going to press up lock it in place, let it come back down just a little bit, and that looks like it's sitting pretty well. I'm gonna go ahead and install this front um, window track. And for this, you'll remember uh, the front uh, window track has a, a nice radius here at the top. The rear one was more of a rectangular shape, and so uh, should be hard to, uh, to get those mixed up. So this top bolt is going to be a 5 eighths Allen head. Uh, it's a little bit shorter than the other Allens that we'll use. Um, so we'll get that one set in place first. These two middle bolts right here, we're not going to install until we, uh, until we put in the vent window. So we are going to intentionally leave those out. So now here's where we're going to tie into this um, lower part of the upper half door. And we're going to leave that just a little loose for right now. Uh, we're going to come back in just a minute and go ahead and install this vent window. And after that point, we'll go ahead and tighten everything down. All right, guys, what we're going to look at right now is this vent window. Uh, you've already worked on this piece a little bit earlier and uh, in installing this, uh, this brace uh, to, to the hinge mounts. And so what we're going to do is go ahead and install this in place. Now we're going to come from the exterior of the unit and we're going to want to keep that brace, um, flat with the forward most window retainer. There we go. We're going to line up our holes. Let's see if I can. install our hardware. Uh, this lower uh, piece of hardware 
might be a little more difficult to get into place and get the length. Looks like this is going to be just fine. got a, a good latch there. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to make adjustments to this window. I'm going to see how how well this window tracks and how well it slides. Um, and so we'll come right back here in a minute and, and show you that. All right, guys, so we've got everything installed. It's not all tight yet. Uh, when, when you're uh, looking at how this window should track, um, there should be a, a decent amount that it takes to come down. It looks a little loose on the bottom end. Uh, and so what we're gonna wanna do, and I don't know if you can see that or not, but we're gonna wanna pull the bottom of this in, and tighten here, um, and then check it again. Uh, if, it's, if it feels good all the way through, then you go ahead and tighten your, uh, your hardware down in place. And that puts us uh, to where we're, we're done with the door install. I would suggest, highly suggest, always go back, check all the hardware that, uh, that you've installed and make sure that it's tight at this point. And then we'll move on back to that, uh, that pillar. All right, guys, we're going to install the B-pillar. Uh, that's going to take a couple of brackets. The first one we're going to work on and look at is this bracket right here. You'll notice that it has a long slot. That long slot is going to attach right above where your, uh, your seat belt upper mount is. Uh, there's a little hole up there. This is a little tricky. Again, another um, portion of this install that's not the easiest. But what we're gonna do is go ahead and get that bolt uh, in place. And again, we're gonna utilize, uh, that's half inch. We're gonna utilize the 7 16 wrench uh, with that flange bolt here at the back because we're gonna have to go in up at a channel. So while holding that in place uh, with the 7 16 wrench, um, you cannot tighten the bolt all the way down. It will not allow you to get the wrench out. And so you just have to get it started um, with threads and then go in and tighten that up. Uh, we'll get a couple more threads in there really is a, a tight space to be working. That'll get us pretty close there to where we can have a solid mount. Now, this will uh, telescope in and out. Uh, not all units are made the same. And so as we're mounting this B pillar, we want the best fit possible. So we're gonna go ahead and leave that uh, alone uh, for right now. Now the, the lower mount is this piece right here. Uh, you'll see that you have an elongated slot there. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the factory hardware out of the upper hinge mount. Uh, you're gonna take this hardware out. You're going to put the uh, hardware or the bolt through that elongated slot and simply replace the bolt. Uh, at this point, we just wanna go finger tight and once we get the B pillar set in place, then we will uh, we'll bolt everything together and tighten it down. All right, guys, last piece. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna install the B pillar. Uh, this is gonna close out uh, the, the install. There's a, a couple of tips and tricks here that we'll go through, uh, but basically what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna pull on the top part of this door um, to, to move it away from the roll bar. And we're gonna simply place this in like that there, okay? Now what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna bolt into the, uh, the previous uh, brackets that we just installed. Okay, and before we tighten everything up, um, 
One of the things I always like to look at is how are our body lines? I would say we're a little tight down here and uh, probably a little open here. And so we can, we can make adjustments um, by moving this B pillar around um, just a little bit. Bring that back and that forward. Looks like a pretty good body line. Again, that's going to be kind of to the eye of the beholder. Uh, but what we're going to do now, once you get it gapped the way that you want it, uh, we're going to go back in and we're going to not only uh, fasten these or tighten this hardware, but also the, the bracketry that it's tied to. And uh, we'll do that here in just a minute and then we'll wrap up the install video. All right, guys, that uh, concludes our install of the modular upgrade uh, 624 from Fortress. And uh, a couple of uh, things to, to make sure, I can't stress it enough, go back, make sure everything's nice and tight. Uh, make sure your gaps are right. Uh, you should get some, some really good sealing across the top of this unit. Uh, as you can imagine, there's, some, there's going to be some sealing issues around this hinge, around the bottom of the door. Uh, those are things that we look to do a seal kit on so that you can purchase that and, and have something to where you can get a good seal. Saying that this door will completely seal 100% is, is not something that I'm going to do, uh, but I think it can definitely keep you out of the cold and, and moving forward. Uh, if you guys have any questions, for sure, give us a call here at the Perry Company and we'd love to help you.